Ladies and gentlemen, we're going out test driving. We are in the lovely Columbus region of Ohio, capital city. I've got Wade Thiel behind me. Perhaps you can see him in that mirror. Everybody's here. I think we're going to ride the Nikan later, which is right there. KTM, Husqvarna. Let's see if I can keep up with this guy. This is the first time I've ridden a Royal Enfield. And the first time I've ridden in Ohio. Wade's blinker is on. I'm surprised with the brakes on this. They're actually pretty decent. And the pickup is good. I'm enjoying it already. Smile! It has a nice sound. Oh, you got it going? Yeah. Yeah, you're live. You're going to have to sign a waiver. Ooh. And we're in the bicycle lane. Not sure that's legal. But we're doing it. So a lot of people talk about questionable reliability with these things, but you know, the suspension feels really nice. It's the right amount of firmness with plushness. I can see little fit and finish things, like if you look on that bike ahead, it looks like the turn signals are on crooked. I don't know if you can pick that up. going right you know I'm actually really liking Columbus as a city it's really nice I feel so retro right now Someone's following us! The ones with the SMS pipe sound incredible. The Harley guy. I feel like we're on the distinguished gentleman's ride. Pulls nice and hard. I mean, it's typical inline twin performance. It's pretty stable at speed so far. The instruments are simple but traditional and their function gives you good feedback when you push a button. I oh, like the gauges too, I can read them okay. 
fuel gauge. Nothing really fancy though, but just what you want. Nice and simplistic. I suppose I should close my visor. You'll probably hear me a lot better now. Love the twin pipes. And these things are cheap to buy, like in comparison to most others. I just want to thank Cena for supplying the 10C Pro I'm using to record this. It's worked really well for me, and I've put some serious miles on it now. Taking it off-road riding, on-road riding, all of it. See this about this bike, the mirror on the left here is not tight, flopping around a little bit and vibrating as a result, so I can't get it in the position I want it. But I mean, that's nothing probably a wrench wouldn't cure. The tires on this bike don't feel like the standard I'm used to. I didn't get to eyeball what they were, but I would definitely upgrade them. But really, beyond the mirrors and tires, this is a fun little bike. The seat is even reasonably comfortable. It's a bit firm. So that could be improved. But with this kind of bike, I mean, you're, it's more about the looks than it is about anything else. So if it's even close to respectable, it's a win. Dragony. The clutch is not a real heavy pull either. This really, it wouldn't even be a bad beginner bike in my mind. It's got power. I think a new rider would, uh, wouldn't get sick of it. Could probably even keep it for a long time. It, it actually, this reminds me an awful lot of a Triumph Bonneville, like the uh, the 800, 900 cc version of the Bonnie. Um, just not quite as as much torque and power, which makes sense. This is a 650, but it definitely reminds me of that bike, and I like that one. <laughs> We're totally speeding, and that's okay by me. There's no possible way this bike won't sell in North America. Yeah, it's the first twin engine out of Royal Enfield since 1970, but you know what? It's a bargain. It's 6000 bucks out the door brand new. You can't beat that. It's half the price of a comparable Triumph. The real beauty of this bike is that it will work for a new rider or an old rider. I think it's going to sell like crazy. Check out the full review on webbikeworld.com. I'm Jim.